and welcome. Now, uh, in this particular video, which is the second video of my uh, video series on the at, uh, AT uh, Mega 328 microcontroller, I'd like to, in this short video, i uh, like to talk about assembly language and a integrated development uh, environment tool or IDE uh, that is the Ed Mega Studio 7. Now, basically, this is a very uh, introductory uh, video. So, if you are familiar with the assembly language and with uh, Ed Mail Studio 7, you might want to skip this video. But basically, uh, I've really uh, designed this video for people who are still learning about assembly language and uh, not familiar with the 8 Mega Studio 7. And I hope that this video would be beneficial for those uh, who are not familiar with these topics. So without further ado, let me just get started. Assembly language uh, programming. Um, and some people call it assembler uh, language programming. But in this video, we'll just call it assembly uh, programming. So let's do a quick recap. Um, so microcontrollers and microprocessors only understand machine language. What by that by machine language it means uh, ones and zeros. Now, assembly language or assembly language uses uh, mnemonics example uh, here I've given you a, a snip snippet of a program and basically it a mnemonics refer to uh, words like JMP which basically is short for jump and SBI and so on so these are mnemonics so when we do assembly language programming, we resolve to using this uh, form of uh, language. Now, we really need to, uh, to translate this into machine code or the machine language. And for that, we need a program or a software called Assembler. So here is a uh, diagram to help you uh, understand uh, the, the process. Basically, uh, you feed in your source code, which is in assembler or assembly uh, language. You feed it into the uh, assembler, the, the program or the software. And this assembler will then translate this assembly language into its machine code equivalent. And this machine code uh, it's what the microcontroller or microprocessor understands. Now, let's briefly look at the reasons for learning assembly language. Now, uh, for this particular video on this series, basically, uh, assembly language will help you to understand the internal hardware of the microcontroller or microprocessor. It gives you the opportunity or the chance to communicate with the internal hardware of the microcontroller or microprocessor. Now, in that way, you, you get access or you get to control the internal hardware of the device. Hey, so let's now look at the Atmel Studio 7 IDE. Now, the Atmel Studios uh, is now known as a, the microchip studio. Now, microchip studio is a development environment for developing uh, and debugging AVR and SAM MCU applications. Now, let me just briefly uh, talk about AVR. Now, AVR is basically a family of microcontrollers developed by Atmel. But now, Atmel is being uh, taken over or acquired by microchip technology. So hence, uh, this microchip studio. 
installing AppMail Studio 7. To install AppMail Studio 7, you need to download, well, obviously, AppMail Studio 7. You need to use this link uh, or you just Google AppMail Studio 7. Uh, now, if you, and I provided the link uh, in the description. So you might want to just go to that uh, link and, and uh, follow the uh, instructions thereafter. Now, I assume that you have uh, downloaded the, uh, uh, the well, you've got to this particular website. Now, uh, once you get into this microchip website, look for tools and resources. Click on that. That will bring you to this particular page and uh, you'll be given uh, a, a choice of two uh, type of downloads. The first one is an offline installer and the second one is a web uh, installer. Now I uh, chose to uh, download the web installer. You may want to to prefer an offline installer that's up to you so make sure that you have a uh, folder prepared on your uh, computer for this download now once you download the uh, installer and you double click uh, to install it you'll be presented with this uh, page here uh, Make sure you agree to the license and terms and condition. And the second one here, the send anonymous information to help improve the user experience. Uh, that's entirely optional. You, uh, you might want to opt to uncheck this one. So once you've done that, you, you uh, click on next. And you will be presented with this uh, option. Uh, here you'll be required to select the architecture that you want. There's three, there are three architecture uh, given. The first one is AVR, the second one is UC3, and the third one is the SAM option. Now, I only want the uh, AVR, so I've unchecked the, the last two. So it's entirely up to you uh, uh, if you wish to install all three but uh, I've chosen to uh, stick with the AVR. So click on next, and you'll be presented with this uh, option here. Just leave it as it is, click on next, and the, uh, there'll be a, an, another uh, option here, menu, sorry, uh, presented. Just click on next. And you will see the uh, notice for the release notes and uh, go for and then click on install. And the installation will then start. Now this might take a little bit uh, of time, but be patient. It will eventually finish. And it will present a message uh, that says installation complete. And it was, uh, and the launch micro chip studio option is there. Leave it checked and closed. Click on closed. And the uh, Atmos, sorry, the micro chip studio will then uh, be uh, started. And you will see this particular logo. And then eventually, after a while, you will see the page the first the front part of the microchip studio okay. so that's it for this vid, uh, short video as i have mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, this is basically for those uh, what we call viewers who are not familiar with uh, assembly language and the atmail studio uh, so that's really uh, an introduction for uh, the viewers uh, who are beginners. Um, so in the next few videos, I'll be uh, looking into details into assembly language programming for the 
at Mega328 microcontrollers. So um, hope you will get the Atmel Studio ready because that's the uh, IDE tool that I'll be using. All right, until then, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.